off here between games. Yeah. Uh, how does the team handle this? What's on the schedule just for the players and the coaching staff? Uh, we're excited about the time off. I think it um, gives us a lot of time to do some video. We had a nice long video session on Monday to go over the weekend. Um, we're able to grind pretty hard, so it's going to be a tough practice today. Um, and we're still working in the rest days for them. So it's nice in that way. We can get better and keep working on things and get ready for Wisconsin. And like I said last week, Maria Lind leaves today for Four Nations, so it's great that we don't miss her for any of our games. Do you and the staff do a lot of recruiting during this time? I'm not sure on the recruiting calendar if you guys are. Is this one of those times yep. you can go out? Or? Well, we're booking a trip, but I don't know that it's during these couple weeks. I okay. forget. Um, in-house recruiting visits here, okay. trying to wrap up the 2016s and okay. stay on other things. But the high school season is just getting started this week in Minnesota, so it's a little early for that. The elite weekend's just wrapped up, so we're in this in-between period. Minnesota, that strong measure uh, against, uh, you can kind of go back and look at, but obviously Friday started out really well. How did you think the rest of the weekend went uh, after that strong start? Yeah, I think, I mean, to start with the strong start, to go up to 2-0 against the number one team in the country shows that we have something here. Um, two power play goals, really pretty goals. Takes a lot of composure to go into Ritter and that kind of crowd and, and be able to take a 2-0 lead. So that I, I give us a lot of credit for, for being able to do that. Uh, they're a really good team. It's tough to keep a 2-0 lead against them. Um, so from that point, I think you know they put a ton of pressure on. They were firing away at Maddie the whole night and, and finally got some more bodies in front of the net to bury some goals. And once a team like that gets one, they they really come at you in waves and uh, they put the pressure on and. I think it was a good game all the way down to the wire, had a chance, pulled the goalie, always want to try to win. And uh, to come back the next day, it's really hard against a team like that. When you're in a tough one on Friday night, that's the one you really want to get the W for. So, um, you know, I like the fight in the team. You know, our second periods need to be better. It was, I think, 1-0 going into the second on Saturday, 5-1 after the second. So clearly we need to do a better job in the second uh, to come out firing and figure out the long shifts and, and things like that. But I like the way the team competed all the way through. You know, if you watch the last shifts in the third period of the Saturday's game, we were still fighting. So I think that is encouraging. Is it nice? We talked last week about this four-series stretch here. Wisconsin or Dakota. Is it nice to have two weeks off to, to kind of regroup and then get ready for a, a three weekend stretch? Like yeah, that? yeah, definitely. I think with the season starting, you know, with two non non conference but NCAA games against Lindenwood so early, it's nice to finally get our break now and be able to regroup after playing 10 games. I think it's really valuable that we can hone in on some of the things we want to get better at and gear up for those three series that you mentioned. Assess where this team's at after 10 games. Is it where you, where you want it to be, or what are, you, what are you looking to see more of here as we get out of the break? Hey, you know, I'm pretty happy with the, the results we've had. We've played the number one, two, and nine, but which is now up to six teams in the country, and those are our losses. We take care of the teams that we're supposed to beat right now, and we're competitive with the ones that are apparently supposed to be better than us. Uh, the overtime loss to Bemidji hurts. Would have been nice to get that win, but I think we're getting better every week. I think we're competing hard with the top teams in the country, and I think as we get better and the season wears on, we're going to start taking some points from those schools. Can you talk about Maria? Uh, what about her makes her that, that Four Nations Cup player? What, what have you seen her grow, even at the time you've been here uh, in her game? Yeah, I think, um, you know, she has that Swedish style of hockey where um, – it might not be 100 miles per hour. She's not going to necessarily jump off the ice at you if you're a first-time viewer of our team. But um, the things that she does well, she can really shoot the puck. Uh, she's scored some really nice goals. She has a good head for the game. She can slow the game down in places where other people panic or uh, lose composure and turn over the puck. She's able to slow it down. She has good vision, good offensive skills, and she's a smart player. So she's able to play, she could play center, she could play wing defensively. And so I think that versatility makes her one of the best in Sweden. Any other questions? Brad kind of asked about it, having two weeks off, 
I mean, seeing how you guys played Minnesota the first 10 games, what do you want to kind of achieve in these two weeks before you get going up again? Yeah, I want to, you know, fundamentals can get better. Our passing should be better. We're going to focus on that. Um, we get a lot of chances, you know, even against the Gophers where um, we'll have somebody streaking down the wide side of the ice, somebody else going to the net and finishing plays at the net will be big. Um, being creative when you get into those situations, maybe you don't just throw it on net. Uh, having composure in those dirty areas. So I want our forecheck to get better. I want to work on our offensive creativity. Certainly the D zone, that's something that we've been focusing on all along, and I thought it was pretty good. The Gophers are a team that can expose you there. Um, so basic things like sticks and passing lanes and, and reading sticks. Is she a lefty coming out of the corner? Is she a righty? How should I play that? I think... Um, the pressure situations, when you get stuck in your zone for 45 seconds or a minute, how do you keep, keep composure? How do you stop from running around, trying to do everybody else's job? Just focus on what, what you need to do and keeping it simple. Um, so we want to clean up on those. Those are pretty much fundamentals. Um, but I think if we can change those things, we'll be ready to go.